So you just upgraded your MacBook Pro to a brand new SSD and you need to get macOS installed. We're going to show you how right now. Hey everybody, it's Chris from Family Geekery. And in a previous video, we upgraded this 17 inch 2011 MacBook Pro to include a brand new SSD drive. And I promised I'd show you how to install macOS back on top of it. This is assuming that you didn't do a time machine backup and you need to restore that. This is just assuming that you wanna just put a fresh, brand new operating system on and start from scratch. So that's what we're gonna do. So since this hard drive is brand new and has nothing on it, we need to get the operating system somehow. And there's a way to do it with a thumb drive, but we're gonna do it straight over the internet. Now I've got a ethernet cable plugged in, but you could also do this over Wi-Fi. The only difference is at the beginning, it would ask you for your Wi-Fi uh, SSID. It would, it would ask you to pick your available Wi-Fi network and give it a password if you have one. But we're gonna skip that step with this ethernet cable. And it's going to download the installation software from the internet. And it's gonna step us through installing it. So all we need to do is start with a special startup keystroke and the one we're going to use is going to be option command and r all at the same time so i'm going to press the power button i'm going to get all my fingers on all those keys and then we're going to hold those until we see it start to boot up and then we're going to let go so here we go Now, once you see this, once you see the spinning globe that says starting internet recovery, you can let go, of course, and it's gonna start downloading that. So we're gonna let that download and it's gonna bring us all the way up to the Mac Utilities screen. And at that point, I'm gonna switch over to this cable here, which is going to a capture card. And I'm gonna step you through all those screens right from the computer. All right, here we are at the Mac OS Utilities, and this is where we're gonna take a look at a couple things to install this new operating system. So the first thing I'm gonna check out is the disk utility. In the disk utility, it's gonna show us all of our available disks, and I can see the PNY one terabyte SSD that I installed in there, so that's good. That means that I did it right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit erase on here and I'm going to give it a brand new name. And I'm going to click erase and it's basically going to format that drive and give that partition on there. So it says it's creating this new partition Mac SSD and it's very quick. So it's done. So here is my drive that I just reformatted, and now I should be good to go. Now, if this was a used drive that had several partitions on it, we may need to go through and delete a couple partitions and uh, get, get all the extra junk on there that was on there before and completely reformat it, but now we should be good to go. So I can close up the disk utility, go back to here, and then the next thing we need to do is just go right into reinstall Mac OS. So this is downloaded Mac OS High Sierra, which it knows is the newest version of Mac OS that this particular model can handle. So we're just gonna click continue on that. It's gonna give us a long list of terms and agreements to agree to. So we'll go ahead and read all those and agree. And then here's our Mac SSD that I set up in the disk utility. If you get to this point and you don't see a disk here, then you definitely need to go back to that disk utility and see what's happening. So we can select that. 
hit install. And now it's just going to start copying everything over. So we'll let those files copy over and I'll check back in when it's done. All right, everything's loaded up and this is our first boot now. And here we are at the setup screen, getting ready to set up our new operating system. So I'm going to switch back over to the capture card. Okay, we should just have to answer a few questions here and get into the operating system. So let's take care of these questions. And I'm not going to transfer anything over. This is where you could transfer from a time machine but I'm just going to say don't transfer any information. If you have an Apple ID, you can go ahead and type that in now. I'm going to click on Setup for later. It's going to have this read these uh, terms and conditions again and agree to them. And now we're ready to set up our first account. Real strong password. gives you the options to do the express setup or you can customize your settings unless you have some special concerns about any of these settings I usually just let it do the express setup and there we go now we do have an external keyboard plugged in that's why it's bringing this up I had to plug in an external keyboard because I have that capture card going and I had to close the lid. So we're just going to skip that. And here we are at our brand new operating system. So let's go up and check out our stats here. So we've got the 16 gigs of memory that we upgraded in here. And here's our brand new one terabyte SATA SSD drive and you can see it's all empty and ready for us to load up anything we want to. So that's all there is to it and this is definitely a little bit quicker process than if you were doing this on an older Mac with a uh, spinning hard drive. Uh, the SSDs definitely make this process a little bit faster. All in all it takes about uh, half an hour total depending on the speed of your internet. Like I said, I did have it plugged into the wall as opposed to using Wi-Fi, but all your speeds are going to vary depending on that. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned from it. If you happen to miss the upgrade video where we upgraded the 2011 17-inch MacBook Pro, I'll put a link to that in the description below. If you have any questions about anything, please go ahead and write them down in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. And if you found this information enjoyable or informational, please go ahead and hit that like button. It helps out the channel a lot. And if you want to see more content, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to write down in the comments if there's some kind of video that you want to see. We will uh, see if we can make it for you. So write that down in the comments below also. Also, be sure to check out our Family Geekery podcast. We put out new episodes every Tuesday and have all kinds of geeky stuff from TV shows to movies to comic books to computers to console games, just about anything. And uh, go check that out. Give it a listen. Let us know what your favorite episode is. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace out and geek out.